Now, the cool thing about payment links is that Stripe basically gives you a short link that you can put in your emails, on your website, on whatever you want. And you can customize this payment page to look and to feel however you want it. You can see here that it has imported the image that I set on my product. So the book of nothing, I set it like a, a nice little image that I found uh, randomly on the internet. And then here you can customize your payment link to have, you know, the collection of tax, the address, if you're trying to send something physically, which in this case might as well, I could even enable it. And then you can also request the customers to get their phone number. Now, let me move my camera on this side so you can actually see it. I just realized that it was in the way, but so you have taxes, customer addresses, and phone number, and then you can also add this new cool feature called custom. So custom fields is uh, basically anything you want. It can be only text, numbers, or a dropdown. If you give it a dropdown, it could for perhaps be something like um, the color of, imagine you're, you're like printing these books, the color of the ink used in the book. And then you can add options you can have like you know black ink and then you might have i don't know red ink and you can add many more you can mark them as optional if you don't want the customers to have to you know to complete this and as you can see this appears up here so these payment links are becoming more and more powerful as stripe builds them out you even have ability to add other fields, so not only one, you're not limited to one. And you can also enable promotional codes. You can allow businesses to provide their taxes. And of course, this is a very important option, safe payment details for future use. What that, hap what that does is when someone purchases the this book, for example, it will store their information as a customer, as a customer object. And that means that if for some reason someone comes back to you and says, hey, I want you to charge my card for whatever reason, you can actually do that because the customer exists and the payment data is attached to that customer. That means you can charge their card. If you don't enable this, you won't be able to charge the card in the future. So this is a very subtle but interesting um, option that I I would always consider enabling if I think this is not a one-off payment from this customer. So there you go. So let's create this uh, this link. So I click it, and there you have it. I already have it up here. My buy.stripe.com.